Okay, let's connect the Sony Ace. I think I need a little bit more light. Okay, let's connect the Sony Alpha 7 III camera straight on to my Microsoft Surface Pro laptop. And for that, I'm going to need one of these. Oh yeah. So this is a capture card which is going to transform the HDMI signal to a standard USB signal which I can then use on the Surface Pro to record video with the OBS software, for instance, and I'm gonna show you the settings. And so that just connects these things together and start recording straight onto the laptop. Yeah. So this cable is a USB cable going to the capture card. And this cable is the HDMI cable coming from my camera. So, and that's how it easy it is to actually set this whole thing up. Ha, okay, so here I am recording on the Sony a7 III straight on to the little laptop right over here. So, hello. First of all, I have to say, this is kind of a convenient way of actually not being necessary to transfer files from your camera to your computer. It also allows me to record indefinitely because there's nothing being recorded on the camera. Everything is done straight here on the laptop. The camera is just providing a video feed through the HDMI, which I've set to 4K 25 frames per second only because I'm not recording on the memory card. Now this allows me to use the face tracking and the image stabilization if I was to move the camera around. Of course, with this now everything becomes really impractical. So, and the cool thing is that I'm actually recording this with S-Log2 and all of the colors, since I've chosen the full color specter, not the partial or the default one, I'm actually getting all of the color information and all the dynamic range information from the camera. So this way, when I'm color grading on the Surface Pro or any other computer, therefore, now I have the full dynamic range of an S-Log2 image camera profile. Now one thing that I do have to mention and is really, really important is the sound offset. Now typically, because the signal is being passed through a capture card and through cables, there will be a delay between the sound recording and the video recording. So this, the audio and the video are not going to be in sync. So one of my videos a couple of videos ago was actually having this same problem when I was recording to my laptop computer. The audio and the video were not in sync. So the video was a little bit behind the audio. Now you have to offset this. So for my capture card recording, I have a 120 milliseconds audio video delay. So the, the audio is actually being delayed by 120 milliseconds in this particular case. So if I'm recording on a faster computer, then it's probably going to be a little bit less, but there's always going to be a little bit of out of sync. You know? Another awesome thing is that I can use my Surface Pro as a really big monitor. I can actually see everything. I, I don't have any monitor features and I cannot control the camera with the OBS software. The OBS is an open broadcast software which you can download from their website. It's completely free and you can use it as you can see right over here. It's, now it's, it's for streaming, it's for gaming, it's for you know recording yourself, recording videos on your computer as well. So the only thing that I do control is the start and stop recording which is done uh, with the OBS software, not the camera. The camera is just like an external webcam or something like this with a very expensive one and you know, all I can you know, zoom in and zoom out. I can use any sort of focusing method straight from the camera. I can set all of my camera settings on the camera. Nothing can be set here. So this is just basically to record stuff on your computer and well, see yourself, you know? It's, it's, it's nice, I can see myself which is really cool. As for the capture card, I'm using the AVR Media Capture Card. This one is the Gamer Live Streaming Pro something serious. And the cool thing about this is that it can actually record 4K 30 frames per second. So typically with a little bit cheaper capture cards, you can pass through the 4K signal. So the 4K comes in here from the camera and it can pass the signal through, but it only records full HD up to let's say 30 or 60 frames per second. However, this one records 4K up to 30 frames per second and full HD up to 120. Now I'm not really sure where I would use this because I'm probably going to use this just for um, situations like this. But just the fact that I have the ability to record 4K um, with my with my computer, actually get a 4K signal into this and then downsample it, uh, well, it's just kind of awesome. So I end up with a very high quality full HD file, for instance, because it's then downsampled from a 4K signal. So this thing costed, I think it was 150 euros. So it's definitely not the cheapest capture card. You can get ones for like 60 euros, but those will not allow you to record 4K um, 30 frames per second, for instance, just full HD. 
you know, an infinite picture right over here. I think I need to turn on this light. Haha, <laughs> much better. And there you have it, it's as easy as that. You just need a capture card and two cables to connect your camera, any camera, I think, to your computer and start recording straight on to your laptop. Now you can also plug in an external drive and record straight on to the external drive. I'm actually recording on a little teeny tiny micro SD right now, which is plugged in to my Surface Pro 7. And there you have it. If you have any comments or questions, leave that down in the comment section and please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button for this video if you've enjoyed it so far. So I'm gonna leave you with this video if you wanna stay on the channel and you know, just learn or enjoy stuff a little bit more. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.